I started out as a newspaper reporter. Um, my first job, I did traditional things like cover cops and schools and did news, but I found that I was more drawn to stories that were actually stories and not information. And I became a feature writer so that I could do stories, narrative stories um, at newspapers. And then I became a radio producer um, at a radio show, This American Life. A lot of the stories you see in the newspaper, they're there to give information that's been reported. Um, when I think of a story, I think of something with a mi beginning, middle, and end, that reading it is going to give you an experience. You're going to um, see something happen in a story. You're going to um, feel something. There'll be emotions in the story. It'll be funny or it'll be you know, moving in some way. And beyond the plot of the story, some sort of final idea that you're left with. Often it doesn't work out this way. I think in the in the ideal situations or in the like, you know, yeah, the platonic ideal of what happens, um, I've seen something or learned something or experienced something that's just so surprising and moving, and I want to share it with somebody else, and and that at like the simplest level. That's the feeling. Like I was thinking about that. The stories that, the stories that end up meaning getting the best reception, are stories where, you know, often I yeah I, I've have seen something or met someone. It's not always inspiring, but you feel like even if it's a little moment that your life is enriched by having experienced it. And that's so great when you get to share that with somebody else. I love the feeling of getting to the end of like a great story or listening to a great story where you laugh and you feel something. And at the end you just feel like, oh my God, I, I feel like that was so beautiful. That said something about what it means to be human. I guess I just want to give people that experience. It's like such a great time to be going into journalism, I think, because the resources to teach you how to do the work are really incredible. Um, just the amount of interviews and podcasts with writers talking about how they work and interviews on the web and, and, and you know, steps about how to make a story. It, it's like, you, if you're passionate about it, there's a lot of material. You know, it's not like doing heart surgery where you have to go to a medical school and learn how to do it. Um, if there's a kind of story that you want to do, you can, you can really do a lot on your own in terms of learning how to do it.